Yes, guys, it is time for the ultimate Galil tier list. Here's the previous video's giveaway winner, along with today's giveaway skin, which, of course, is a Galil. All you gotta do is leave a like and comment down below your favorite Galil on CS2. And, of course, make sure your sub to on. But, yeah, good luck. So, starting off, guys, we have the Galil Akaban, which is pretty basic. For me, personally, it's, like, C tier. Next up, we have the Amber Fade, which was actually in the pattern-based tier list I did recently. And, I don't know, man, the green part of this just kind of stinks. I don't know, I don't really like it. It's not terrible, though, and, I mean, it's... It's kind of cool how you can get like max fades or low fade ones. This again, like for me, it's it's can't really go higher than a B. Probably would even be C. I'll put it B for now though. The Aqua Terrace, however, like this looks really nice in CS2. Do you know what's crazy, guys? I actually think the black bit on this skin, it looks really, really good on CS2. A lot of black skins look like terrible. They look almost like much more gray now. And then yeah, that contrast with the kind of shiny blue and white bit, I think it looks really good. This is like a low A at best. Like it's, it's not bad. It's not insane. But yeah, I think out of this so far, it deserves A tier. But real quick, guys, I need to tell you about today's sponsor, which is Skins Monkey, the automated ease to use CS2 trading site that have just launched their Christmas event and give you an insane 35% deposit bonus for every cash deposit, as well as a free $5 on your first $100 trade. And it doesn't stop there. As Christmas is coming up, Skins Monkey have prepared a free gift for everyone that signs up to the site. You can bag yourself a free skin, up to 50% deposit bonus, which is 15% more than usual, or just free balance on the website. The first gift is free, and of course, you get more gifts the more you trade. There's also multiple raffles and giveaways along with your very own advent calendar so what are you waiting for check them out for an instant way to get yourself some new skins along with 24 7 live chat support and a ton of skins with a simple filter to pick your new skins from but let's get back to the video then guys we have the galil black sand which i mean yeah like for me this is just a bit basic like don't get me wrong it's meant to be basic so that kind of like you know it makes sense why it looks like this i just can't see myself rating this that highly like if anything yeah this has got to be like low c i wouldn't say it's d like it doesn't scream terrible to me but like it's just very very boring whereas at least you know with here i like the pattern the fade kind of looks cool and then yeah the colors and the pattern look cool on this so yeah like this lower c that kind of makes sense now, the blue titanium, I really like this. And yeah, some people would say like, oh, that's crazy. Like, this is so basic. Why would you like this? But I, I don't know. It's just clean. The color blue. I like the color blue. It's nice and shiny. This is what I mean, though. The black on this looks a lot more gray and washed out. But I would still say that this deserves either a top view, probably actually A. Like, it, it's still really, really good. Next, we have the caution. So, I mean, hey, if you've got caution gloves, then this would go perfectly with those. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty cool. It's yellow, which I don't know. We don't have that many crazy yellow skins. I feel like the caution tape gloves though for example they work a lot better because just the idea of wrapping that caution tape around you whereas this uh it's it's all right i would say looking at this list this probably for me is more of like a b tier skin mainly due to the color and the pattern on it but i don't know yeah probably b at most but next guys we have the cerberus arguably one of the coolest skins in cs i think like just the design is incredible not to mention the colors as well they just look great yeah i mean so far guys looking at this list this has has to be the first S tier skin. Next up, though, we have another banger skin being the Chatterbot. Guys, one thing that's super cool, I'll zoom in on this. When you're shooting, as you can see, it kind of like chatters the skull. That's why it's called the Chatterbox, just in case you guys didn't know that already. Now, it is a bit scraped up, even in decent wear, but like it kind of fits the theme of the skin. And you got all the bullets on the front, which like have like parts of the skull on. Like, I just think overall, the whole idea and like the execution of this skin are excellent. So, yeah, as nice as I, th I probably would say the Cerberus design I prefer, but like just how they pulled off the chat box and like the little Easter egg of the chattering behind that. I mean, I just don't really an Easter egg, but the little just added detail I think is amazing. So for me, it's the best one so far. Next though, we have the Chromatic Aberration Galil, and this is another Galil which I think is amazing. Maybe I'm a bit biased because I like the kind of like blue and pink skins. I really like the vices, for example, back on CSGO. I don't really like them as much on CS2 just because the back of the gloves kind of look a bit more like grayed out the black parts on this skin is a bit like grayed out but it still it still looks really really good and pattern wise and just design wise yeah it's really nice i could see the argument for some people saying this is a tier for now though i'm gonna guys we just had back to back to back s tiers i would say it's one of my favorite Galils in the game so i've got to put it s tier cold fusion uh this is kind of cool got a bunch of skulls on it decent design i would say this is top of b the galil connection it's got the cool little phoenix in the middle of it obviously 
as you can see at the back, it says the Phoenix connection. Yeah, it's, it's all right. I'd say it's nothing to rave about. One thing I would say, though, is it is clean. And I really do, like, if you look at my rankings generally, unless it's, like, clean with, like, a kind of, like, gross color, I do tend to rank cleaner skins higher. So, for me, this is probably a low A. Uh, maybe top B if we, like, go through more Galils and, you know, stuff moves down. But I'll put it low, low A for now. Now, though, we have the Crimson Tsunami, which, wow, this design is awesome. I absolutely love this art style guys don't know about you guys in the comments but uh oh yeah it's cool i mean unfortunately like imagine if you could shoot and it would almost look like the waves i mean maybe maybe that's kind of the thought process behind this but now nah, it's not pulled off like the chatterbox and the colors are very kind of muted um it's not like super vibrant and bright but as much as i like that normally it's kind of nice to have something different i almost feel like because of the design i kind of i kind of want to put this in s tier i'll put it top of a though um and i could definitely understand if some people are like no way like the chromatics way worse like it should probably swap there these ugh, it's difficult it, it, it is difficult i just do like vibrant skins more so maybe that's a bit of personal bias but yeah i'm gonna do that but i could 100 percent understand if some people would rate this high just because like design wise it is a lot cooler next we have the galil destroyer which uh, if you guys didn't know it actually says destroyer on it but it's all like kind of like uh warped if that makes sense if, if you look really closely i mean it's kind of hard to read to be honest but it's it's very basic again just like a lot of skins on cs2 i think on csgo this looked better um, because obviously the contrast was higher, whereas now a bit washed out. I would say this is probably like mid B. Next though, we have the Dusk Ruins, which is kind of cool. I like the bit at the back with the uh, the guy cheesing almost at the back, like just, you know, smiling away, looking at you under all these leaves. The colors on this, you know, they're really nice as well. But I don't know, like at the front, it's kind of like a greenish color. Mm, I'm not really a massive fan of that. I don't know. I would say top of B for me if we're looking at like color and design and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, for me, it's around there. Oh, next, guys, we have the Galilea Eco. And wow, this, uh, talking about like eco friendly, this is fresh and clean. Wow, just a nice white and super nice bright green color. You can't go wrong with this. It's similar to like Asimov skins. The reason why I love them, you know, the white and the orange. I mean, I suppose that adds in black as well, but this is just white and green. Yeah, I mean, maybe I'm a bit biased. I just love how clean it is. This could be like top three so far. I just think it's so clean. So I could understand some people might say, how is this in S because it's a bit boring, but I don't know, just white and that nice green color, especially on CS too i feel like colors pop a bit more so this green looks even better yeah i just respect how clean it is so for me s tier next we have the galil firefight which is another skin on cs2 where i feel like it looks better i don't know the, the design on like the main middle bit just looks a bit more crisp on cs2 and color wise uh, i mean it's not like super vibrant or crazy but i think it fits really really well for, you know the skin name the firefight i think i would feel comfortable putting this in a tier like it's not crazy i kind of prefer the metallic kind of like painted on design a bit more of this so that's why I put it there. But yeah, overall, it's a solid skin. What the hell is this? The Galilea are hunting blind. Nah, man, bro. Whoever designed this must be blind. Like, what the hell is this? Um, yeah, bro. Defo had his eyes closed when he came up with this one. Like, this looks rank. So yeah, unfortunately, guys, for me, this is the first D tier. Next, though, we have the Galil Cami. And no, hey, any of you gooners? No, this is the Galil, not the 57. Relax. It's pretty nice, pretty clean. I wouldn't say it's like crazy because it kind of looks a bit messy in some parts i'm just thinking like this probably for me is like top of b next that we have the metallic squeezer which is a really cool skin as well i mean similar to like the cami and a couple of the other skins we've looked at this is pattern based you can get ones which are like black and gold or pretty much black and silver this one obviously just has a mix of everything it's a random pattern yeah i mean overall it's actually a pretty clean skin i do just wish though and again this, i think this is cs2's problem but i wish the background was just like pure deep inky black with the gold and the silver and i think it would look even better but personally i would say this is like mid a i think it's a banger skin next we got the galil ar envy and i kind of like this you know like the black and green it, it goes really well this pattern in the background it's okay i mean it's not the craziest pattern ever bit of a bit of a boring basic skin and i think actually without the pattern i'd probably prefer it because it would just be a bit more clean i don't know it's just not as like crispy as some of these lower a skins i was thinking maybe low a but it's more of a top b to maybe mid i would probably put it mid b 
actually. I just thinking comparatively, like, it's all right. It's definitely not a bad skin, but it's just, it's just missing something for me. Next though, we have the orange DD pack Galil, which I just, I don't know guys. I like the color orange, but DD pack skins, I'm not a fan of. So, you know, I, I honestly, I'm going to do this and then I'm going to do that. Yeah, I think, I think I'll put it top C. I mean, I just, I just don't like DD pack skins, guys. I'm sorry. Yo, but what I do like is this absolute juicer skin. Me and the Phoenix black light now. Fair enough, you do need to get like a decent pattern if you actually want the Phoenix like in the middle. Even if you don't get a decent pattern, this just is a nice mashup of really cool colors. Nice and bright and vibrant. Like looking at this list, in my opinion, it's got to be S tier. It's just figuring out where. Now, I think the Eco super clean, but I think it goes above the Eco. Now, do I think it's above the Cerberus? Probably not. What I do think though is a like tier one pattern probably is. But the thing is the Cerberus, it's nice. It's clean. It's consistent. It's not like, you know, you get a Cerberus and all the heads are like off of the skin. Like it always looks the same. Maybe you like that more because it then means that if you have one with the Phoenix in the middle, I know I haven't shown it for other skins, but here is actually the tier one. So yeah, I think ranking off of tier one, this definitely goes above, but because of how consistent the Cerberus is, I'll put it above it. But either way, all these top three are absolute juicer skins. The Rainbow Spoon, I mean, this is pretty cool to be fair. I like it. I think on CS2 actually, because of the colors and the lighting, like this kind of pops. I would argue this is near like mid A, maybe above this, maybe near a top A. Now we have the Rocket Pop Galil. It's a weird one, guys. I would really like this if it didn't have all like the little squares that are like fading away. I'm also not a huge fan of the navy blue color on it. I do like the more brighter colors that do pop. It's a tough one, but I think this for me is like near the top of B. It's decent, but it's nothing to go crazy about. I mean, talk about skins. Is there enough to go crazy about, guys? We have the Sage Spray. Like, I really don't know, guys. If you like these types of skins, let me know why in the comments down below because, I don't know, maybe just like the simplicity of it. Honestly, this just looks like someone's been like trying to wipe up fucking shit with it. Like, I don't know. It just looks absolutely arse wipe. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's somewhere in detail. Maybe it's top. Maybe it's above this one. But, yeah, it's just trash in my opinion. Next up, though, we have the Sandstorm Galil, which, if you didn't know, guys, you can get one that's like super purple. I think, though, just in general, like, it's not the best of skins, especially when you compare it to some of the other, like, purpley or pinky Galils that we have now. Yeah, um, I would say probably, I would actually put this bottom B, and then I'm going to move the caution down. Especially, like, obviously, you can get, like, the good ones with more purple on. That would bring it up for me, but just on average, it's bottom B. Next, though, we have the Shattered Galil, which, I mean, guys, again, some could argue this is maybe a bit clean because it's kind of basic, but I really just don't like this pattern. I think it looks trash. Like, I much prefer a pattern like this, so this could probably be, like, here, here, or just to try and actually, guys, I'm going to try and, like, level this out a bit more. I'm going to move this down to D tier as well. I'm sorry. I'd probably put it like that. Next up, we have the Glil Signal, which I think this pattern is a lot nicer than some of the previous patterns we've looked at. I also like the colors that they've used, but it's, you know, it's it's giving me like mid to high B vibes. I wouldn't really put it any higher than that. Again, I just like how clean and crisp some of these skins are up here. It's it's difficult. Oh, the Stone Cold though, guys. Talking about clean skins, I think this is a juicer. I really, really like this. Maybe it's the CS2 finish to a lot of guns that look like more metallic that I like, but it's also probably train helping, but yeah, this skin looks sick. I mean, I, I could, you know what, guys? I could do this, and I could probably put this near the top. I don't know. I like the color blue. It's my favorite color, so maybe that's part of it, but I just think it looks amazing on CS2, this skin. Next, though, we have the Galil Sugar Rush, which, wow, I really like the colors on this. Design-wise, I mean, it's pretty cool. We got, like, tic-tac-toe at the front. We got a checkered board at the back. Got some little, like, skull bunny rabbit. Yeah, I mean, overall, it's not bad. I don't know which one I prefer, actually, guys. I kind of like the black and pink on the chromatic, whereas this one's a bit more washed out. I kind of prefer the chromatic in that sense, but it is still, it's a banger skin. I would say it's probably, yeah, pretty arguably S tier, but I actually probably prefer the chromatic. Now, guys, we have a very clean skin being the Galil Tornado, but it's just, for me, this is too washed out and basic and boring. It almost looks like a default skin before, you know, they've added any textures or any, like, realism to it. It just, it's just kind of too basic for me. I mean, I don't think, though, I don't think it's D tier, because in my opinion, D tier is stuff that, like, looks terrible, whereas this doesn't actually look terrible. It's just boring. So I'll put it bottom of C. It's definitely not terrible, but it's just like, it's just missing everything, really. Whereas, I, mean, I don't know, you could say like the, the Galil Eco, like I could understand some people sit there and go, oh, but that's that's missing everything. That's super basic. But it's like, nah, guys, it's it's green. It's white. Colors look really good together. This one, the colors are just boring. And as I say, it almost just looks like a, a placeholder, like model before any textures or anything have been added. I don't know. I'm just not a huge fan of it. But what I am a huge fan of is something like this. Like this looks like a default Galil, but it's just had a nice 
nice bit of like white paint slapped on it. It looks super nice. It looks super classy. It's of course called the Glil Tuxedo. And yeah, I think that makes sense. It is really, really nice. I would say this is so difficult. I don't know if it's, is it S tier guys? <laughs> I feel like I've put way too many skins in S tier. If it's not S tier, it would be like of A. And then maybe we move that down and maybe we move that down. And then, yeah, I mean, overall this list is looking a bit more like, you know, balanced out now. I just think the design on this is so cool. And like as cool as like the black and white is, I much prefer like the green and white of the eco. So yeah, I'll put it top of A just to try and, you know, let the rest of these skins sit in S tier as they'll have a bit more about them. But I mean, yeah, you can't go wrong. It's like the slate almost like the slate, nothing crazy about the slate, but it's but it's just super clean, really good for crafts. Um, and yeah, the tuxedo, I just think as well, is super clean. Next though, we've got the urban rubble and this is going to be a quick rating. Yeah, I mean, guys, this is another D tier skin. Third to last Galil now, we have the Galil Vandal, which Jesus Christ, it's called the Vandal, guys. Like instantly it should get D tier ranking for that. It's actually not too bad. It's kind of cool. It's got the drawn on bullets. This is giving me like low B, high C vibes. Yeah, I would say low B. That seems pretty fair. For the second last skin, we have the Vari Camo and holy, this is trash. Yep, that's uh, that's me throwing up, guys. This skin is garbage. I mean, honestly, it could even be the worst. I low-key prefer that. Like, this is just a mess. But guys, finally, to finish off, we have the Galil Winter Forest. And you guys know, if you've watched my other tennis, I'm not a huge fan of, of camo-based skins. And I mean, yeah, this is just another one. I would say it's not as bad as a lot of these. It would probably be like either here or here in D tier. But yeah, I mean, guys, to be fair, if we look at this, I think I've balanced this pretty well. You know, it's pretty much the same amount in each tier. Obviously, we've got one more here just because of, you know, the amount of Galils there are in the game. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with this list. Let me know if there's any app absolute blunders in the comments down below i like to think i'm pretty consistent obviously our opinions are different guys like some of you guys you might like the camo based skins so they would be way higher they wouldn't be in d tier for me not a huge fan as you can tell i kind of like nice vibrant colors or just skins that are clean or like shiny and yeah i think the chatterbox it's still guys it's the coolest like galil skin in the game just because it's the only one which has that little like uh, effect almost like little easter egg thing but yeah remember guys let me know down in the comments which galil is your favorite Favorite if you want to enter the giveaway and for any of you guys still here remember on the 29th i'm going to be giving away this huntsman knife blue steel on my twitch so make sure to go follow that if you haven't already and type exclamation mark knife in the chat to find out more on how to win this but yeah guys that's pretty much it